Good evening, everyone. City of Miami, as well as many other parts of the United States, including Cuba, is still shocked by the news that was generated yesterday by the media when around 3 a.m. in the morning, famous baseball player, Jose Fernandez, the pitcher for the famous team of Miami Marlins, was found dead in the Miami Bay in the South Point area of the city of Miami Beach. I'm on my way to his house, actually his grandma's house, and where his mom and him used to live. And obviously, this is pretty recent, so there's gonna be a lot of police activity, a lot of press around there. They probably have a perimeter and we won't allow to go in. But I'm still gonna do my best in showing you the house that belonged to famous Miami Marlins pitcher Jose Fernandez. My condolences go to him, to his family, to his friends, and to everyone that's still shocked by the news. And um, I just hope that he is in a better place. And to all his fans, and to all the people that love him, let's, let's all pray for him and for his family. And we have finally arrived at Jose Fernandez's house. This is where his family currently lives. We have news right here. We don't have too much police activity. I'm gonna try to come back and get a better shot of the house. But there's just a lot of media and news reporters parked us out the house. And I mean, it's just sad, guys. It's just pretty sad to see how life can change a family's life in a heartbeat. And the saddest part of the story is that this guy was only 24 years old and he had a future ahead of himself and he was a, a baseball star. He was going up, he was moving up so quick, so fast. He had a future ahead of himself. As we can see, we have all type of media right here. Channel seven, channel eight, Univision. So sad.